Now there'll be some problems in which you'll be given a function which will have piecewise definition defined separately for rational and irrational values of x. Say for example, we are given this function fx which is f1x when x is rational and this is f2x when x is irrational. Now we have to discuss continuity of this function fx in x belongs to R. Now, if we look at any point, say x equal to a, and if we look at this limit, limit x tends to a negative fx, that means we are talking about value of this function in the left hand neighborhood of a. Now, in left hand neighborhood of a, there will be infinite rationals and infinite irrationals. So, this value will oscillate between the value at rationals, which will be f1a and the value at irrational, which is f2a. And the same way, this limit x tends to a positive fx will also oscillate between f1a and f2a in the right neighborhood of A, which again contains infinite rationals and infinite irrationals. So at each point, we get an oscillating value. Now here we have two cases. Case one, if F1A is unequal to F2A, and this second case, when F1A equals F2A. Now if f1a and f2a they are not equal then at all these points a we'll get two values of limits so in that case this limit will be oscillating so at all such points this function fx it will be discontinuous so at all the real numbers x equals a this function will be discontinuous if f1a is different than f2a now if both of them are equal in that case both these values, they are just f1a and f1a. Now in this case, both the limits, they exist finitely and they are also equal to function value at this point. So this function fx, it will be continuous at x equal to a. Such functions are continuous at only those points where f1x equals f2x. So all we need to do is we have to equate these two definitions and then we'll solve this equation to find real values of x, say x1, x2. So this function fx will be continuous only at these points and at all of the points this function will be discontinuous. Now say for example, We consider Dirichlet function. Now, Dirichlet function is defined as one when x is rational and it is zero when x is irrational. Now, in this case, this one it can never be zero. So, for all a belongs to R, this limit x tends to a fx will be an oscillating value 0 and 1. So this function it will be discontinuous in x belongs to r. So this is an example of function which is discontinuous at all the points. So there is not even a single point at which this function is continuous. Another example is suppose we have defined this function fx as x when x is rational and 1 minus x when x is not rational. Now first we'll equate these two definitions to find the value of x. So here x is equal to 1 minus x or value of x is 1 by 2. So this function fx is continuous at x equal to 1 by 2 and for all other points that is 
for all x belongs to r minus 1 by 2, this function, it will be discontinued. Now question number 6 is, the function is defined by the formula fx equals x square plus 1 when x is irrational and 10x when x is rational. Now at how many values of x in the interval 0 to 4 pi, f is continuous. Now if we'll take any point then, in the neighborhood of any point, there will be infinite rationals and infinite irrationals. So that means this function will be discontinuous at all the points except for the points where the value at irrational is same as value of rational. So this function will be continuous at points where x square plus 1 is equal to 10x. So all we need to do is we need to find number of solution of this equation in the interval 0 to 4 pi. So we'll draw the graphs. So this is pi 2 pi 3 pi and 4 pi and we'll draw the graph of y equals x square plus 1. So these two graphs, they intersect at four points. So number of points or number of values of x in the interval 0 to 4 pi where this function fx is continuous is simply 4. Now here the question is we are given this function fx which is x when x is rational and it is 1 minus x when x is irrational. Now it says find the continuity of f of fx. Now though it is not asked in this question, We'll discuss continuity of fx. Now, literature says if we have any function fx which is defined as f1x when x is rational and f2x when x is irrational, then this function is continuous only at points where f1x equals f2x. So this function will be continuous for only those points which are solution of this equation f1x equals f2x. Now what is the reason for that? Now suppose we have this function which is defined differently for rationals and irrationals. Now at any point a, in the neighborhood of a, there will be infinitely many rationals and irrationals. So if we take its left hand limit, its left hand limit will be this oscillating value f1a, f2a and on the right hand also it will be this oscillating value f1a and f2a. So both the limits on the left hand side and the right hand side they will be oscillating and therefore, this limit it will not exist except for the cases when it is not oscillating and not oscillate if both the values f1a and f2a they are equal. So that means this function is continuous for only those values where f1x must be equal to f2x. Now for this function, if we equate them, x equals 1 minus x, we'll get value of x as 1 by 2. So fx is continuous only at 1 by 2 and at all the points this function will be a discontinuous function. Now for this question we do not need any of this analysis. So in this what we need to do is we need to find f of fx. Now when x is rational fx is x and therefore this fx will be a rational number and if fx is rational then f of fx will be simply x. Now when x is irrational, fx is 1 minus x and 1 minus x is irrational and if it is irrational, it will go to this 1 minus x. Then in that case, f of fx, it will be 1 minus 1 minus x, which is x. So whether rational or irrational, this fx will always going to be x. That means it is continuous for all x belongs to 0 to 1 and that's your option A. Now the question is, let A is number of points of continuity of fx which is defined as x minus 1 
when x is rational and it is x square minus x minus 2 when x is irrational. Now we have already studied such functions and we know that the only points where this function will be continuous is when x minus 1 is equal to x square minus x minus 2. Now we can write this as so here we'll get two points. So in this case, value of a is simply 2. Now b is number of points of discontinuity of this function fx, which is signum of x cube minus 3x plus 1. Now, if we look at this cubic function, which is y equals x cube minus 3x plus 1, then dy by dx is 3x square minus 1. Now, it has two critical points x equals plus 1 or minus 1. Now this y at 1 it will be minus 1 and y at minus 1 it will be minus 1 plus 1 will be simply plus 3. Now if we draw an approximate graph for this function then we will start from minus infinite and then we will take a positive value and then we will take a negative value. Now this function, it has three real roots. Now, if this function has three real roots, then this signum function, it will be discontinuous at three points. So in this case, the value of B is simply three. And it says C is number of points of non-differentiability of this function. Now here we have fx equals log x into mod of x minus 1, x minus 3 plus 2 into x minus 2 to the bar 1 by 3. Now this mod function, it is not differentiable at 1 and 3, but at x equal to 1, this log x will be 0. So that means it is differentiable at 1. So it is non-differentiable at 3. And if we differentiate this, we get 1 by 3 at x minus 2 to the power minus 2 by 3 that means it is not differentiable at x equals 2. So value of c is 2. So this function is not differentiable at 2 points. And d is number of points where this graph has a sharp turn. Now it has a sharp turn at 3 because it is not differentiable but at x equals 2 it actually has a vertical tangent. So in this case, value of d is simply 1. Now we need to find the value of a plus b plus c plus d. Now this is 5, 5 plus 3, 8. So answer to this question is 8.